All right, folks. Back in the lab, back in the studio. <clears throat> Captain's Log Podcast. Uh, happy Monday. This going to be my Monday check-in for y'all, man. How was everybody's weekend? <clears throat> All right, so you know what it is. Super Bowl was yesterday, so let's talk Super Bowl. So... Went over to my folks' joint. Shout out to the Accarellis for hosting Super Bowl. Uh, joint was all right, man. Um, <clears throat> really wasn't feeling the uh, the uh, halftime show. I thought the halftime show sucked. This nigga said he spent seven mil on the halftime. Bruh, that shit was more like sixty nine ninety nine. That was a post I made. Um, I mean, I thought it was cool, you know, the national anthems, uh, who you had singing, all the performers and all that. Shout to the weekend. I mean, you still, you know, you put seven million of your own money. <clears throat> I can't hate on you that much. But, I man, I wasn't feeling the game, bro. Like, you know, I, I mean, I didn't realize at the half that the Chiefs was down to their offensive linemen. So I was like, oh, okay, I get it. But some of these calls were some bullshit, though. Like, some of these little pass interference and – you know, these these offsides and all these stupid-ass calls. Like, some of them shits was job flu a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But I also was telling people, like, Chiefs defense is not like that. Like, everybody like, oh, they won a Super Bowl. No. It's it's just like back in the day when Tom was with the Patriots and they were scoring a lot of points and the defense was trash. But it's like they never really had to really step up as much as they did yesterday because they always score. And now you get in a position when you're down, you know what I'm saying, and Tom throwing the ball pretty good, Leonard Fournette running the ball up your ass, you know what I'm saying, even uh, Tony O'Brown, you know what I mean, snuck in a couple of catches, Gronkowski went the fuck off. I mean, you know, just pretty much getting out coached. But then the second half come in, you know, they down, and then it's just like my man Mahomes is getting hit like a lot. Like, he getting hit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think he maybe got one rough in the passer joint, but he was getting hit big time. So I'm like, look, we all know the game is already out of reach, but I'm like, if y'all not about to try to at least attempt to uh, protect him, like, take him the fuck out the game, you know what I'm saying? You know, bad enough he out there, his toe messed up, probably got to get surgery. Now he getting popped, he running for his fucking life. You know, he kind of got that little girly run. So I'm like, bro, I can't take too much more of this, you know what I'm saying? So... Shit, I think about four minutes left in the fourth quarter, we was packing up and headed home. So, um, congratulations to uh, the Buccaneers. Tom Brady, he is the GOAT, whether people want to call him that shit or not. Regardless of the pass, he got seven Super Bowls, so he the GOAT, all right? So, next, man, uh, highlight of my weekend was uh, I got my first dose of the COVID vi- vac- <clears throat> COVID-19 vaccine. Um, I know it's a lot of people out there who's kind of like, I'm not getting it. Uh, I don't have enough information or just really just just talking just to be talking. Uh, I'm trying to get back to normal. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't fucking no no spokesman or no sponsorship from from nobody. None of these vaccine corporations. But I'm saying that I'm trying to get back to normal. So I went up the joint and I got my little first shot in the arm. So I went through the VA, Veterans Affairs, <clears throat> VA hospital in D.C., and um, I just happened to call up there and ask, like, hey, uh, you guys got the vaccine? And they was like, oh, yeah, 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 we got it. You know what I'm saying? We can set you up for an appointment this Saturday. So here it is four or five days later. I'm pulling up to the VA at, like, noon. And it's probably about, you know, maybe 50, 60 other people in that joint in there to get the vaccine. You know, I went in. Um, I got the shot in the arm, and I sat in the little lobby for about 10, 15 minutes, make sure I didn't turn into no zombie, and I got the fuck up and left out. Just that simple. So I will say that, you know what I mean, similar to the flu shot, when you get the flu shot, your arm be sore. I will say my arm was definitely uh, a little bit more sore than it usually would have been if it was a different type of shot. And I will say I was super drowsy. Uh, for the rest of the day. And I slept hard as hell. But I woke up the next day. I was good to go. You know what I'm saying? I went and watched the Super Bowl. I chilled out. So uh, this is day two with the vaccine in me. I'm I'm still a human. So, I mean, I'm good to go. So if y'all thinking about getting it, man, you know, make these appointments accordingly. If you're a veteran, I highly suggest you reach out to the VA hospital because that shit was pretty easy. I go back for my second shot on the uh, 27th. 
And they actually said the second shot is the one where you really feel more so of the side effects. But that's it, man. I, I don't really got too much um, going on, man. I just, you know, I had to do my Super Bowl check-in. Uh, halftime sucked. Uh, commercials was pretty funny, though. There was only maybe like a handful of commercials that sucked. But um, the Will Ferrell joint was definitely the funniest to me, man. But uh, enjoy y'all Monday, man. It's my day off. I'm going to finish my coffee. Go play some Call of Duty. All right? Captain out.